This is The Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Tamar Braxton has caused some drama yet again. Now she was on The Steve Harvey Show. And she was part of a panel of women, including Carrie Hilson, and they were asked, should a woman change her look for a man? Here was Tamar's response. I believe in, you know, being attractive for your mate. Like, I used to be like, sis, I used to have all blonde wigs. I still have 150,000 of them at my house since I don't shave my head off. You know what I mean? Vince liked blonde head, light, fed women. And, you know, I just wasn't born with no blonde hair. Yeah. But for me, I just think that's a responsibility that women have. Blonde. is to stay current for your man. What does light fed mean? I think fair, fair oh, skin. Oh, like fair, fair okay, skin, okay. yeah. Right. Blonde, wigs. Yes. So people were bashing them. I believe in switching it up in your relationship. Give your partner some variety, but Vince needs his butt. What you marry a black woman? How you want fair skin and blonde hair? Plus, I bet that's why she pinched her nose. So yeah, that sounds a little crazy. Fair skin women and. But I mean, everybody got a preference. I mean, listen. Though, right? I think that you can switch it up with wigs and have fun like that. But yeah, I don't that, think I, that's what I think she was talking about. I mean, I, I think she switches it up for her husband. I don't, I don't see nothing but wrong with that. But when you say he likes fair skinned women and he likes blonde hair, blonde hair is not just switching it up. It's like, I like blonde hair. It kind of sounds like I like white women. No, 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 no I wouldn't it say doesn't that. Say, why do y'all reach that far? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, no, it don't sound like that. I, I, I like my, my wife wearing different things. I like her in like, what, if your wife, what if your wife told you, I like brown skinned men with blonde hair? What would you she, would you try she, to make she, your skin darker and dye your hair blonde? What if she told no. Vince I like in shape men that keep their mouth closed? Exactly. <laughs> but clearly he got in shape. He can't keep his mouth closed, but he got in shape. He lost a lot I'm of weight. I'm just saying, like Charlamagne, if you told your wife I like light skinned women, I would never blonde. say that. I wouldn't I, tell. I wouldn't tell my wife that because well, I, right. I married her. So yeah, they're married. married for what you, yeah, for for what you like and what you love. Yeah, that's just a weird thing. But, but. Tamar's light though. Like, she is light, fair, or whatever she says. She is light. So. I think it's, it's talking about the hair. Right. All right. Uh, now, let's get back into Tiffany Haddish because she is now ducking questions from everybody about what happened with Beyonce. Now, we mm-hmm. told you the story earlier. She told the story to GQ magazine about how an actress bit Beyonce and Beyonce said the person was on drugs. Everybody's trying to figure out who is she talking about. Jennifer well, Lawrence. Shall I mean, tell us? From the uh, Hunger Games. Chris mm-hmm. Spencer was trying to get some answers and here's what happened. Well, okay, it was crazy because it was like the after party for the Jay-Z concert, right? Which was super dope. And like, I ran into Beyonce and Beyonce was like, did you enjoy the concert? I was like, yes, the concert was popping. It's Instagram, so we ain't got that much time. Yeah, but you have to know, like, Beyonce, she smells so good. She smelled like, she smelled like coconuts. So great to bite. Who bit her? So the person who bit Beyonce was, now what, the car's here? All right, so. Definitely Jennifer Lawrence, star of the Hunger Games. It only makes sense. So then she posted on her Instagram, okay, GQ, she ready, the last black unicorn. And she said, y'all forgot I am in the hive too. And just know this, I will always speak my truth. That's not going to stop. The queen bee kept me from doing something half of you bees would have done no matter what. To me, she is a shero and a great person. I've learned so much from her in just a short amount of time. So no matter what, she has a unicorn that has her back. Right. And she put a whole bunch of bees because she's part of the beehive as well. I'll drop on the clues bombs with Tiffany Haddish, damn it. All right, now Birdman has posted another picture of him and Lil Wayne. He said, me and my son. We told you before, the two of them were spotted together at Club Live in Miami. They actually reunited there. I don't. They didn't come together, but they actually did have a hug and a conversation. So we'll see what happens. I mean, the Carter Five is, according to Birdman, going to finally come out this year. And there's still that $51 million lawsuit against Birdman and Cash Money Records that was filed back in 2015. So I don't know if they're working things out or Hopefully they are. What? Hopefully we'll get some new music and Wayne to get paid. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.